First, I went to the police because I couldn't find my hotel. And I went to the police. And the police guy said, no, we can't help you. I couldn't find it, so I came back to the same uh, police station and I told them <clears throat> the same story. And they said, if you don't leave, one of the officers' guys say, the police guys say, if you don't leave now, we will put you in jail. And I really thought that was, I thought it was a joke he's playing, but he was serious. Mm -hmm. I said, listen, please help me. He said, look now, leave now or I put you in jail. So I have to leave again. So I keep on walking and looking and looking and looking until I, I just couldn't, had no more energy. And I find a taxi and I, I told the taxi, and the taxi guy just, I trusted, I thought he was look, gonna look, but he driving. And next thing I knew, I was in the middle of a highway, out of nowhere, I don't know, must drive for an hour. Then I realized, this is, doesn't look good. And I asked, I said, please, where are you going? I'm, I'm in the city, I don't know where you're going. He didn't say nothing. He kept driving. The car took me to his house. I don't know what house, where he was, but he put me in this place. And uh, he said, sit down, and I couldn't move for a day and a half. Until I just, again, I just had to leave, I had to run. There was one moment I told him, I had just, just a moment, I just, just go to the toilet. And that's where I find my way out. I don't know where I am. I told the man, please. I hitchhiked. The man stopped. So where are you going? I said, to the city. So where else? I don't know. Just put me in the middle of the city. It started to rain. And it, I was very cold. And I needed the bathroom. So I find it. The first cafe came to my way. I was sitting there and just taking the moment what to do, what to think. I can't go back to the police. The second time, they kick me anyway. So where, who, where, where do I go? Who I ask for help? Anyway, I was sitting there, and the guy, this guy started to talk to me. He speak French. I really didn't speak no English, so I didn't pay no attention anyway. And I don't speak no French. All I can think was my problem, what's, gonna, where I'm, what's the next plan for me? And then the guy said, where are you going? I said, look, I'm just walking. And he followed me. The next thing, he said, oh, I'm just, I was walking. And he followed me. He was chatting with me, walking. And that's when the police, boom, the, the police woman say, find me, ask me my name. I told her my name. She said, we're looking for you. I said, thank you. I told the guy, she said, who's this? I said, I don't know. I just met him there. She said, uh, and I said, bye-bye, thank you anyway. And the police woman said, no, no, he have to come now. He come to, he come to the police because we don't know what, who he is. I mean, these police guys, twice when I went to this night, really, they treat me like a prostitute. I th for sure they thought I was somehow something. They didn't even give me a second say, now look, where, where did you come from? Where are you going? How far could it be? What does it look? They didn't even give me a little help. Just get out of here. Just pick off my skin. But I have learned to trust yourself especially when it came to authorities. I just took a little walk. They could have come walk with me, come after me. They say, I ran away and jumped into a taxi. That's what they all said. That is not true. And I told the guy in front of the, uh, in the police, I said, you, twice I come for you. And you looking for me two days? That's stupid or what? You think I am that? And that's why they're all just making all this mess now, because they know they made a big fuck up. I feel very sad, truly deep sadly, for any woman who, as an immigrant, come to this country, because I know how she be treated. This is shameful. I'm orthopedic trauma specialist, so I just uh, 
uh, looked at the uh, injuries that she had to her body. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, responsible to evaluate the, the psychological injuries uh, she, she has. Um, from that point, she has uh, bruises to both shoulders and uh, uh, small wounds and also bruises to both legs, to the ankles, and we found some bruises there. And she now has to get uh, some uh, uh, treatment uh, for these uh, injuries. Um, how was the constitution of Miss Deary when you talked to her the first time in the hospital? Uh, she was, uh, uh, she felt insecure and she was, um, uh, was evident that she was scared and um, uh, but for this uh, our uh, psychological uh, colleagues have to take care. So which kind of steps uh, are we going now on uh, in, in the kind of treatment of mysterious? We were just, uh, just now in the process of doing a first checkup. Uh, we, we have to take some x-rays and also do an MRI of the brain. Uh, to make sure that there is no uh